our current social and political and socioeconomical climate um, doesn't really favor a family like ours. And, and we are fortunate and we represent, but, but there are so many other families like us that will be the most negative recipients of, of an imbalanced system in our country. Media is the most influential form of information that any nation has. And when media is privately owned, it becomes a very dangerous weapon and not really a tool. If only 4% of executive producers are of Latinx origin, that means that only 1% of all the information that we get in one day is of Latino content, and it's usually of lawbreakers, and it's very, very negative. Who's representing the other 99% of our community here? You sort of go, oh, that, there's, that's a huge problem and it affects me directly because I'm a first generation of Latinx descent and my children are going to be a second generation. What can we do? Let's add to this conversation and let's fight that with, with knowledge. Let's fight it with love. Let's fight it with information, good and accurate information. Latinx uh, people are over-indexing on so many things when it concerns business in America. We're enrolling in college and we are buying homes and we're starting business at the same rate of Anglo-Americans and it's only gonna keep rising. So it is our responsibility to, to make content that best uh, represents what America looks like today when mainstream media is sort of failing to do that. And we decided to sort of embark on this journey of building BC that um, it has the mission of shaping the cultural narrative that exists today in America so it can best serve what America looks like today. We knew that digital media is a space that we can create as, as artists and, uh, and people that are public figures and, um, and we're doing it without being sensational, without being negative, without being lowbrow and without being exclusive. It's all about the opposite of all of those things. And we want to start peacefully. We want to start sort of just telling stories of everyday Americans that are just living their lives and impacting their community in however scale. And obviously we would like to escalate to greater figures that we cover in America, whether past, present, or future. 